This is the Sagaholic episode 81. OG Xbox error codes 5, 7, 11, 13, and 16 explained and how to fix them. I found this version 1.0 Xbox at Savers which has an error 11 which is a DVD drive issue. You can click here to learn to how to tear down your Xbox. This Xbox has the 8GB Seagate hard drive with the black rubber surround. The optical drive is a Philips DVD drive with that huge funky bump on the bottom. Taking a look at the board, you can see some caps near the heat sink as well as the clock capacitor has leaked. You can click here to learn more about pulling the clock capacitor. These are 1500 microfarad 6.3 volt capacitors and need to be ordered. This is the DVD drive board and is dead as a doornail, but luckily I have a spare Philips drive available. While I wait for the caps to come in, I can do some general maintenance. To make it easier to remove the heat sink, you can use a hair dryer to soften up the hardened thermal paste. You can learn more about thermal paste replacement by clicking here. A viewer recommended WD-40 to help take off the thermal paste and this makes the job 100% easier. Just make sure to use some isopropyl alcohol to clean up the leftover WD-40. The caps have come in from Arrow who has a sale right now you get 12% off just enter CEP88 in the coupon field. But the best thing about Arrow is they have free overnight shipping. That's right, free overnight shipping even to Hawaii. Amazing! With the Xbox put back together with the replacement DVD drive as well as the new capacitors, the Xbox is now working. You can see this is an old dash because the Xbox Live option is missing. This one is dash 4034. I'm updating the dash because I want to run SID 5.11. Right when you insert this Star Wars disc, it updates the dash but only to 4920. I'm using spike out because I know it has dash 5960 and it is needed for SID 5.11. Right as you try to log into live, it will start updating. By the way, I'm installing SID 5.11 because on a prior console, I had trouble uninstalling the soft mod. With dash 5960 installed, I can now transfer over the SID 5.11 files. Like I was saying, I'm trying to create a scenario where I tried to uninstall SID 5.11 but I had trouble deleting Shadow C. I got frustrated and did something that was not recommended was delete a whole bunch of files. And naturally, the console started popping an error 13 and then later an error 16. Learn how to install SID 5.11 here. With SID 5.11 installed, we can go to the boot soft mod menu and try to uninstall it. What? Damn, it actually worked this time. Well, no matter, I'm just going to delete the SID 5.11 save files and install Xbox Soft Modding Tool right over the top. Installing a different soft mod on a soft modded console is not recommended and can lead to errors. By the way, you can learn about installing Xbox Soft Modding Tool version 1.1.4 by clicking here. What? Damn, no error codes. Hmm, let's give this another try. Now I'm gonna delete the Xbox soft modding tool save files and later install the stock Microsoft Dash 
with the extras disk so we can transfer the SID 5.11 save files. I'm going to install SID 5.11 over Xbox Soft Modding Tool to see if that messes things up. Seems like deliberately trying to mess up your Xbox is harder than when you try not to mess up your Xbox. What? Damn, no error codes. Hmm, let's give this another try. Let's try something drastic and delete the entire C drive. You can see 299 megabytes still remaining, even with all the files deleted. I wonder if that's Shadow C. What? Damn, no error codes. Time for something even more drastic. Off camera, I deleted the MS Dash backup and ran the SID 5.11 uninstaller. And finally, an error 13. Obviously, because we don't have our dashboard on the C drive. Since the Xbox boots from the DVD drive prior to the hard drive, you can use the extras disk to recover your dash. Additionally, if the hard drive still has the exploit save files, you can run the exploitable game to reinstall the soft mod, like I'm showing you here. Let's reset the Xbox without installing the dashboard to bring up another scenario with this error 13. Whatever you do, do not remove power to the Xbox with an error 13. You will end up with an error 16, which happens when the internal clock cannot be set. Since the internal clock capacitor is either dead or removed, the Xbox can no longer hold clock settings once power is lost. Without the clock settings, the Xbox will try to reference the dash, which you need to set the clock. Unfortunately, this all happens before the Xbox tries to boot from the DVD drive, so you can't use a disc to recover your dash. Hopefully you backed up your EEPROM, but if you haven't, you can build one of these EEPROM readers. I'll leave a link for the instructions on how to build them in the description. What you also need for the reader is a PC with a serial port. If you have a version 1.4 motherboard, your LPC vias will not be filled with solder. If you have a version 1.0 motherboard like the one I'm working on, you have to hold the cord in place. On the PC, download, install, and run Ponyprog, and click the read device button. On a successful dump, you should see the window turn like this. Next, click the save device file icon to save. Make sure you do two dumps and compare them and make sure they're the same. We can now close Ponyprog and open another piece of software called LiveInfo. With LiveInfo, you can read the data on a dump EEPROM file. You can see here that the serial number on the dump EEPROM matches the console. I'm now going to transfer the EEPROM file to a compatible USB stick with Explorer 360. You can use your favorite way to transfer files to an Xbox, as we'll need another Xbox to recover the dash. On another working Xbox, transfer the dump EEPROM file into the Y cache directory. Install Rocky 5's Chimp 261812 on the working Xbox. Also, prep the Aero 16 hard drive and the working Xbox for Chimp 261812. You can learn how to do that here. With everything set up, we can now launch Chimp. Specifically, Chimp 261812 has a Fix Error 16 feature. By the way, make sure the Error 16 hard drive's jumper is set to slave. We can now press A to initiate Chimp. You can ignore all these warnings and errors. Like it says here, we need to unlock the hard drive first. After you click Unlock Slave Drive, click the location of the saved EEPROM, which is the Y directory that we put it in earlier. Next, go to Slave Drive Options and choose Fix Error 16. Once the process is complete, make sure you lock the drive before you close CHIMP, otherwise you'll pop an Error 5. Once you power down, you can now install the Air 16 hard drive into the Air 16 case. But remember to move the jumper settings back to master, otherwise you get an error 7. You can see the dash is now restored and Xbox is working again. What Chimp 261812 did was clone the C drive from the working Xbox's hard drive to the Air 16 hard drive.
Anyways, I'm gonna remove the SID saves and reinstall the Xbox soft modding tool saves for precaution. And lastly, I'm gonna use the Xbox soft modding tool extras disc to go back to retail so I can get rid of all the extra files that might have gotten in during all these shenanigans. Anyways, if you liked the video, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Aloha.